I'm trying to paint! Today I'm painting a Blood Angels Librarian. So, paints I'm using will be Caldor Sky, Lothurn Blue, Zarus Purple, White Scar, Kislev Flesh, Gnome Oil, Gene Steel Purple, Mephiston Red, Ushapti Bone, uh, Joker Orange, and um, Iron Breaker. There we go. Uh, first up, I'm using my Kelder Sky. So we want to make sure that we are watering down all our paints. It's probably going to take a few layers. Here it looks quite thick, but that is literally just because it's a bright color and in the lights it always looks thicker. I don't know why. Darker colors always look transparent. Light colors always look thick. I don't get it. Anyway, Memphis on Red, I'm just picking out all the um, blood drops, purity seals, getting his shoulder pads as well as the thrusters on his jump pack here. Then I'm moving on to my Iron Breaker, and I want to get it. There's only a few metallic parts, and it's just his bolt pistol. I'm doing this... Is the word a cowl? Is it a cowl? I'm not sure. But I'm doing that, that color too, as well as the little dagger at his side. Then with my white scar, I'm going around and I'm picking out all the angel wings. Because when I built this guy, I wanted to make sure I included both shoulder pads packing the Blood Angel logo, as well as his sword. And yeah, it's everywhere. Then onto the Ushapti bone. Another thing I made sure this guy had was tons of purity seals. I made sure he had the legs where he's got like a loincloth that's, I don't know, made out of parchment or whatever. So there's a ton of that on this guy to do. His left flesh, just picking out his face there. It's literally just a few dots. Still took a couple of layers just to get it nice and even. Norm oil. And now I'm working my way around the whole model here, just picking out gently in all the cracks and recesses. So you can see on his face there, I did a really thin layer, just to slightly gray it down. I often use a different wash, which I cannot remember. I think it's there. Oh, something flesh shade, right on flesh shade. Sometimes I use that, but yeah, not today. I couldn't bother. I just use normal oil, and it comes out perfect if you wait for the end or whatever. Um, here I'm just using the Caldor Sky just to neaten up where I got wash on the surface areas of the blue, which is not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to keep it in the cracks. And if you can keep it in your crack, then you will save yourself a dirty mess later on. Which could, almost sounds like advice for other stuff too, which is cool. There I was just doing a dry brush of the Iron Breaker onto the bolt pistol just to shine up some of the edges just a little bit from where the wash dulled it. And again here with the fist on red, neatening up those redded parts. Back to our Kislev flesh, I just try and bring out some of the details of his face. This is where I get a bit panicky when I did this because I did it and I was like, wow, that flesh color looks really bright for a skin tone. But later on, I actually used pure white scar on it, bring it right down. Weirdly, a bright light color, but it works. Oh, shabby bone here. I'm just kneading up all these little parchmenty bits, picking them out, just making them look nice and pretty. Zarus purple. This is the color I'm doing his sword. I'm doing his four sword purple today. Usually I would go for a blue, but yeah, I want purple. Then with Gene Stealer purple, I'm basically highlighting. Now I do this off cam because I actually paint from the side. So this is me painting around a corner there. It's really hard. So as you can see, I just did like a standard down the thingy lightning bolt, which will look better when I add white to it in a bit. Now onto the Lothurn blue. I'm just highlighting all the Kaldor Sky areas. Why am I doing this? Because I like the stark light blue onto the Caldor Sky Blue. And as you can see here, once you've done them all, it comes out and it looks pretty good. Kind of neon -y, kind of Tron Legacy fight, except more blue. <laughs> then I want to Jokira Orange, which I was thinking, what if it's Yokira Orange? That would mean that my little Jokira that I named Jojo is actually going to be called Yo-Yo. And um, that just sounds a little, I don't know. I don't like that as much. So I'm going to say stick with Joe Kira Orange. And yeah, and just highlighting all the red areas, his thrusters, his purity seals, all the little blood drops nice and carefully. Then I go on to White Scar, and I can start highlighting all the parchments. I feel like I've been painting a lot. Like when I was painting it, I didn't feel like I painted a whole lot of parchment. Now I'm going back through the video, it's like, do the parchment, the parchment. But yeah, whatever, do the parchment. Then here I'm just getting the inner thrusters, which you can just... Um, driver if you want to. And as you can see, I did the lightning bolt and did a few little speckles and things. I did this off cam because I knew I wouldn't be able to paint it as neat or as pretty as that if I did it on the camera. But yeah, this is the final model. This is him finished. Came up pretty good. Here's his rear view. You gotta check out that rear view. 
And yeah, I like him. He's probably one of the favorite things I did. I love the way the sword came out. I'm probably going to do purple on my Grey Knights. And yeah. So thank you for watching. You can click below for other videos that I've done. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Because if you don't, no one else will watch it. And then my channel will die and I'll be sad. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.